So that is the reason why you can get a property that low and be able to apply the Burr method. What is the Burr strategy? So the Burr method is buy, remodel, rent, refinance. The goal is to buy a property about 50% under uh, retail value. So you're gonna buy a $200,000 property and your goal is to buy it for $100,000. And then you're gonna spend about $40,000 to say, mm, yeah, I'm gonna say $40,000 to remodel it and your closing costs. At that point, you're in the project for $140,000. You can go and get a refinance, a cash out refinance to pay off what your hard money loan and any money you put into the remodel. At that point, you have no money in the deal because if you bought it for 100,000, spent 40,000 on the remodel, you get a loan for 140, which washes your initial loan and in the amount you put down. You now have no money in the deal and you own the property with none of your own cash. You have a tenant in there, they're paying the rent, the taxes, the insurance, the maintenance, and then you use the money to do another deal. That is called the Burr method. Now, you would, some people would say, why would anyone sell someone sells a property that's half price. The reason that they're gonna sell a property half price is because they cannot sell it to anybody else. No one can get a loan on this type of property if they're just a, a regular consumer. Unless you're in the business and you can get a hard money loan or you have the cash to do the deal, you cannot get financing. So you have to find someone specific that could take on this deal and manage the remodel. Not many people want to take on a project that requires a lot of work. So that is the reason why you can get a property that low and be able to apply the burn method. In my scenario, I bought a seven to $800,000 home, depending on how you value it. I bought it for 289,000 and I'm gonna be roughly spending about 150,000 on this property. So by the time I'm done within closing costs, I'll be in for about 450, 475, and I'm planning to sell it for roughly around like 650 to 700,000 uh, under market value, but I wanna make it a quick sale. Or I could do a cash out refinance and do the burn method on that deal. So that is a, a possibility. That is a, a, an example of a project that you can do. I prefer not to do it for that specific example I just gave you. I'd rather just sell the property. So um, that's the burn method. So is using the burn method a good idea to buy your first property? You can use it. Uh, remember, the, the, what would you need other than money? You would need to be able to find the deal and assess what is it going to cost to remodel the property? Because if you don't know how much it's going to cost to remodel the property, you're not going to be able to execute the Burr method. So say you buy a property for a hundred thousand that completed it's worth two completed it's worth two hundred, but you don't know how to value of the remodel. So you spend a hundred thousand dollars on your remodel. So now you basically spent two hundred within a hundred purchase and a hundred remodel, spent two hundred total on a property that's only worth two hundred. So when you sell it, you're gonna spend around 7% in fees between closing costs and agent fees and so on, not ignoring carrying costs. You would actually lose money. So it would be important for you to know how to assess the, the value of a property, assess the actual cost of the remodel. If you can do those two things, that is gonna be helpful for you to determine, are you gonna make money? The next point you would need to do is find people that can actually do the work. And that's when it's really important to start making connections and, and building a good team.